Triceratopper fans. I think you probably know what we're doing. The thumbnail is a pretty good hint. The title is a pretty good hint. So today we're doing Squishy Makeovers. I am another person added to all the other people who have done Squishy Makeovers. So I'm not getting copyright for this because every because a lot of people are doing it, and not everyone, but a lot of people are doing Squishy Makeovers. Pay on Squishies. I've seen people pay on Squishies before. You guys probably know paying Squishies. Am I a complete noob at painting squishies? No, but I'm not like the queen or professional of painting squishies. Let me show you a squishy. Here, here is the squishy I have. This is one of the best squishies, but I don't squish it. No squish zone because this squishy cannot get squished. Also, no squish zone for any of my squishies. These are also other squishies I have as well. Got Olaf right here. We got Anna. There's Squishies. You see? Squishies. And then we got the cake, which is probably the worst one I have. And the pizza. So today, let's hope we have good results. Better results than that. I'm taking mini Squishy because I'm still like new to this process. So let's go and get started. Painting the Squishies. You know what I mean. Okay, so now I'm sanding the squishy. This is a very important step. First, I'm sanding the blue waffle. Now I'm just sanding and sanding. If you don't sand the squishy, the paint will fling off and remove like a very crappy sticker. So you want to sand it. And we're sanding it, taking a very long time. But now we're painting the base coat. We're painting the base coat white. It's important to paint a base coat because if you don't paint a base coat, the color is just gonna take a lot of layers. So I decided to paint white. You can see other squishy in the background, but don't paint it in too much because those are more than sort of diffuser. I'm painting this blue waffle. Very thick coats because it was very transparent, which we see with other squishies. And this painting very thick coats everywhere on this squishy. And painting everything a white base coat. Everything is up here white, everything's white, and here's green. And this is when I was trying to mix the color. I was trying to mix a color that is hard to mix, apparently, that I don't get really mix. And it took a lot of mixing. I thought I was making a color that never existed, but I tried and tried and knew what I had in my mind. and. It just didn't work. It looked too green. It didn't look blue enough. So I decided to go with a light blue instead. And that just looked good enough. More by blue. And there we go. That's the color. Stick to the waffle. The other color I use for other curl paintings. But they have a bottle for it. What's I, what's, they had a bottle for it when I bought fabric paint. Yes. You have to paint squishy with fabric paint. Now I'm painting this nice light blue on. I didn't want a super dark blue. Because that was not my imagination. And we got a light blue. You know, guys are saying, like, the light blue is the same as a waffle. But I decided to get inspired by the blue waffle and painted the exact same coat. Exact same color. But don't worry, we'll get a little bit more into the process of painting this quizzy. There's something a little bit more added to this blue waffle than those ugly, ugly drizzles I've been had before. Now we're painting more of the blue waffle and painting some blue touch ups This happened along the way. Don't look up behind. I know my background is not the most um, pretty, <laughs> but it's fine. It's my first time doing squish makeovers on camera. Now I'm painting a red frosting sauce. So basically, if you dip this blue waffle in frosting, so basically the super blue waffle that's blue and red frosting on top of it. And we're gonna paint red frosting. Red frosting, and I decided to have this idea. We're gonna use the red paint, which I use some more of in my other video. And we're just gonna paint a lot of red paint on this frosting, and you see how thick these layers are. They're very thick layers because I just have to squeeze a lot of red paint. And I'm painting drips to make it look like it's frosting dripping off of the red waffle. I really like this red waffle. I will and just not a red blue and dipped into this red frosting. I really like this 
when it's finished. But I still had some things to go before it's completely finished, including some more things. So yeah, this is me just painting more. It's it's night and day. You see, I have a lamp in the background to make it bright. And now I decided to get to think of an idea that I will later regret putting white sprinkles on it. I was thinking my nice say flag, like American flag, and then I thought, oh, it looks ugly. So I tried to, so I fixed it with putting more red paint on. And I was trying to fix the white because it just looked terrible. Now to another squishy. Now this squishy you want to do in base coat, it just like to suck in paint. So I had to put super thick layer. It was like one of those kind of like, like, like a sponge, like, it just wanted to suck up all the paint. I'm just painting a white base coat like the other one. I did sand this squishy, did not include the footage of it. <laughs> it's fine. Not everyone needs to be sanded up. We have sand this squishy, yeah. And this buddy just wanted to eat all the paint, I guess. Just go eat the paint. Just go eat the paint, little donut. Eat the paint. The last one was a red waffle frosting on it. Very basic, but I don't get too um complicated here because I'm what I say when the show. I'm not like the things like squishy makeovers. I don't go super advanced here. I I'm I stay pretty basic to do. Actually, I went to and then boom! I changed the little. What happened? Where did the little co go? For the reason I I didn't record the little. We tried first color, but I recorded my self paint the back. Of the donut. So we're just gonna cover all of the love, 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 love. Now we're gonna cover that piece. And you see, I started putting them here because then it just kept getting messy and messy, and the paint is so sticky, it picked off pieces from the paper. It was a complete mess. So we keep doing little touch ups. It was a complete mess. Now doing the touch ups of Lello and Lello paint everywhere. I won't do super advanced ideas, but I do get more advanced later on in this video. And painting more little on the table, you see. And then you're painting gold. I'm painting gold. I want a little shiny effect, so I'm painting gold on all the sides. And then I came with this wrong idea to paint the sides. So I painted, put my finger through the hole, and paint the sides that way. Just roll it around. It was pretty easy. These these coats dry super quickly, so it was not that hard to wait that long. Now we're gonna add green frosting to this. Green frosting, yes. Kind of the same technique, but instead it's a donut. A donut double green frosting. I wanted to make drips again, because I like the idea of the frosting dripping. And we're gonna add silver to this piece. A nice coat of silver to make a nice, nice shiny effect, but not the same. And I do not regret this and make it have a darker green one. I kind of like. Now we're just painting on the back. Look at that stripes. And then we all fill it in with green paint. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Okay. We're just painting. We're just painting more of that frosting. And then we're painting the same silver coat. And then we're just going and paint orange sprinkles on it. And this time, I did not regret painting the orange sprinkles on it. I liked it quite a lot. And I did not paint circle sprinkles, paint my kind of like long square sprinkles. I'm not the best, but it looked pretty cool. Now we're just going to paint more green. I don't know what's going on here. We're just gonna see the background. Oh, the green on the side, okay. So I tried to mess it up, but it kind of did not. I guess the frosting's just dripping more, I guess. I don't know. And now you can barely see what's going on here. Now I was painting a little hole in the center because I didn't want that and did not get painted. Now I painted a bunny. We're painting up the bummy dick's coat. And see, that was very, um, not very good layer. Now we're painting a thicker coat, base coat, so this is really the job done. Because if we just kept that layer, it just take millions, millions, it would take days, and days, and days, days. I didn't want to take days, it still took days. And we're painting the backside now, which is very flat. That's why these are all kind of desserts. So how I got this idea was from one mixing, okay, now it's orange, so it's supposed to be a little cracker. And it's supposed to be not so cheese cracker. When I was mixing in our colorful nice squishies, I won't tell you it was one. And I decided, I saw orange, and I decided, oh, let me paint it orange, make it a not so cookie. And see, it got mistakes on it. Very, very clear mistakes. And I painted the back. I don't know where that even came from, but I painted the back, you know, the last thing, the back. 
then we're just gonna go and go put it there put it there and we're gonna just test up that also that little ear this is a bunny cookie and now we're gonna put the nacho tea sauce on it the nacho tea sauce so basically this is not so soft not mustard not so sauce and this nacho sauce is on the head it's like dripping i like making drips today and we are going to put some on the ears as well but don't worry we're not going as basic as the last two we actually have something more extreme we have nacho cheese in both ears this is not it it the party's not over yet there's something more i'll add to the squishy and the squishy is not done yet. Yeah, it's not. It's just picking drips and drips and picking more nacho cheese. And there's some more nacho cheese for this. And let me say, this is not over yet. Can I more of it? I understand. And suddenly, we get black on the squishy. Ta da! Now I'm making eyes. You're probably weird out like, wait, this is this is this. Cracker, how's her eyes on a cracker? Well, maybe they use frosting. Let's say they use healthy frosting, cracker frosting. That's not a thing, but what's the image up? And then this one painted the, the nose mouth thing, and I had to wipe it off because it looked terrible. But now it looks terrifying. And I tried to paint it up, and it just kept showing the look, so I just had to. Okay, more coats, and 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 more coats. Until it doesn't get that muted orange look. And finally, I was happy with it. Well, not yet. Bay more orange coats. I finally was happy with it. And I went back with the mouth, which you could barely see. And my eyes. Which you can barely see what I'm doing here. And there's my mouth. So cute. Look at that. Look at this little cute little bunny. So cute. And basically, oh, we're painting Leno. I decided to give it Leno eyes. Just turned out some mistakes. And there we go. And I don't know what. And there we go. We're having very sets of like <laughs> going the ears on orange and my finger. What? How long is this for? Uh, hello? Can you please? Okay, so I'm trying to capture photos of me painting. That's the white, cause I messed up on the little eyes and I had to repaint it. And there we go. This is project we see. We see a better one in the picture. And then we're having this penguin being sand, cause this is the last one you can see here. This we're having sand. This little penguin squishy we had paint white, and you see he's very dark. Right? Now thicker coat to get the job done. <laughs> And this one's still, and we still need like two guns. And you see that one's very light, very light. And we're just gonna be painting more white coats. I decided to sit it down the thing, and this one had a stand on it, like a place to stand, cause like a little animal. And it was very big, cause it was paint before. And I paint, I paint on my hands when I get every time I paint. And painting more base coat, painting more base coat, painting more white on this white penguin. It's not a penguin. It's supposed be, it's gonna be a made up kind of bird soon enough, so yeah. A made up kind of bird soon enough. Now we're just gonna go and get this paint, paint, paint. And we're painting the bottom of this, we'll see. But now we painted the pink thing. And now I made a terrible sense of painted green and had to cover low because it looked very bad with the pink. It clacked. It clacked with the color steam. And I didn't like it, so I. Had to paint it but I made so many coats. It was a terrible mistake. Make sure that your, make sure the sketch before you put it. And then I put the pink thing, and then I made more coats. Put more coats, the pink things that got messed up. Then we paint and paint more little coats on that green, more little coats on that pink. Go fix that pink spot. There we go. No, no, pink that pink pink spot. And I try to make it like the thing like the penguin, but it's just little and pink penguin let's make it a special kind of bird it's cute and you can't really see it but i'm painting more little paint over that green that green was a terrible terrible mistake and i'm painting more on that painting more on that 
pink spot and now there's a little dry and now we're just going to go and paint the black on it black was there the black eyes on the creature would make sense this time because it actually is an animal that i don't know is i don't know a pink blue that kind of looks like a penguin is real so it says it is made up but if we find real life we're just gonna knock me up and now i paint both eyes and i can paint a little pink beak a little dark pink beak would make it look super cute look at that super cute but you see a mistake there i had to fix that and put a black coat over the eye yep now the penguin's not allowed to see anymore but now i put the white coat and now the penguin is allowed to see but i made a mistake and put black right there oh that's just a mistake so many mistakes in this penguin i'm sorry little bird i'm sorry little fellow <laughs> it's okay and you see the eyes now they can't see yet so we can only see one eye which makes it blinking good job blinking but blinking the way you're supposed not to now we have that covered up and now we can go grab it i record me grabbing it it's like a claw missing grabbing it which is can give you very bad luck now it has two eyes it looks very cute and now to the last one. Now this coat you can see is very thin and now we can pick it up because that would take millions of coats and I need millions. I'll be like five days and still paint the base coat. I'll be like, oh, what am I gonna be done with this? <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna be like that. No, 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 no. So I'm painting, I'm painting, I'm painting. And I'm painting this base coat and you see all the other squishy base coats because probably I don't have a good background to put away. I just had to let them dry in there, which is a mistake because I explained before. And here we go and paint along. And apparently it gets neon pollen, pink strawberry ice cream, chocolate ice cream, and the ice cream cone is actually painted with gold paint. Fun fact. Now that was make make. And now we're going to go and paint the neon pollen on the other side. And we're going to paint the little gold paint to act like ice cream colors. I'm going to mix it with buds and milk of colors and paint on the feet as well. And now that, that drawing was to save my paint from um, extra paint. Yeah, and I'm mixing some white to get that strawberry pink color. And now we're just going to paint it on there. We're just going to paint it on there. And the white says for vanilla paint, of course, vanilla ice cream. Now this is the chocolate ice cream. What's, I don't like chocolate ice cream. I like, so I don't really like Neapolitan, but I just had to go with it because I thought it was a cute idea. <laughs> it's a Neapolitan cookie. A Neapolitan cookie, and we're just going to paint it. A Neapolitan mouse. It was kind of like Mickey Mouse care, but it was very cute. I like the red one, yeah, but we're just going to turn this. And now I'm seeing the dry next to the penguin. Now I got more paint on it. This is why I stopped my hand on there. See, I learned my lesson. And I decided to stand it like that, because I painted both sides, I think, and now I'm supposed to stand it like that. You see the blue on there? Um, I'm going to fix that. Now I'm going to go and paint the coats over there. And this took a lot. Tuss ups and stuff like that just took a ton of time. And also I just painted like this. I had to stand like this. It was pretty tough. And as my drying set up, now that was the lamp that keep in bright for nighttime. And I paint more coat for white. Poor white! Poor vanilla! It just got to keep going covered up by ice, by strawberry ice cream and chocolate ice cream. Now to paint it over again, and this Tesla thing that got a lot on these squizzies. Especially with the sticky thing. Oh, I don't want to even mention the how many Tesla dust by that. This is not even how much time, it's only weeks. And here's a little Tesla the chocolate paint, chocolate ice cream, and then laying on there. Then we got the gold. Was I try to find a way to dry then I had the mistake and then yeah then we had to paint the white and yeah now we're painting more chocolate more chocolate more chocolate more chocolate more chocolate ice cream I don't like chocolate ice cream but someone can in one of the last video and painting more strawberry ice cream I like strawberry ice cream I also like vanilla I like ice cream as well I like most things it's a one thing Chocolate ice cream. Now I'm painting the gold, which is basically the ice cream cones. And I do see something different in the lines. Well, you will see, little Frank. You will see what's different. Now I'll paint the silver for the lines. I did have the white off, but I didn't like it. 
and they paint more coats. But this time I focused more and I didn't like it again. So yeah, the paint over there. And then I paint black when I was dead drying to make little eyes on it. Eyes on a cookie? What's this say is this frosting? This makes way more sense because you know, this is a cookie, right? Ice cream cookie. Now I'm painting little white parts. Which they're gonna play on the little um, vanilla part, but it's gonna be fine. Things will be fine. It's still gonna look cute. Then I was, the ears look bad, so I paint more gold coats on it. More gold, more gold, more gold. I also put a smile, a little half smile on it to make it look cute. Then, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm starting this quizzes. Oh, I'm picking up and I'm laying it and floating it to the sky and then I'm putting it back down. Never floating in the sky. Okay, I'm floating things to the sky. Flying ice cream cookie. Now I'm painting the silver thing again with the ice cream, with the ice cream texture. The ice cream line I paint with silver. It's different, but it's quite cool. And now I have to do a little toss up on the pink. It's a different kind of pink, but yeah. Now I just went in there and then I pick it back up, paint a little bit of chocolate, paint a little more white. Then I see the face of the mom. Then I paint the silver things on the other side because N is symmetrical. So more white. And I thought I had the idea to paint silver with the eyes. So silver is the eye color. Now that's the picture we got the we got the red waffle, you see? It looks pretty cute. We got the donut. Don't mind the rock over there. We got we got little we got that little bunny, which looks super cute with little eyes. You got that little penguin, looks so adorable. And then you got our final little friend here. That is a ice cream cookie mouse kind of thing. So that was it for my first quizzy makeover. So make sure to give it a like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to ring the bell. Bye, Triceratops bird fans. I think I enjoyed my first Quissy Makeover video. Bye.